In my opinion, this is the worst title to any video I ever made in my life. But there's nothing I can do about that. Except change the title, but ain't nobody got time for that shit. Besides, I think this title is wavy in one way. But besides that shit, that's not even important. Who gives a fuck about a title for a Mr. Wonka 7 video? I could type in Dick as the title. And then the next video, I'll type Dick 2, and then Dick 3. And then Grizz will still watch, like, and share my videos. In fact, I guarantee that they'll probably like it and share it even more just because of the stupid title. See, what I've noticed a lot on the internet is that everything for the alternate left, feminism, speciesism, ableism, anti-white nationalism, all these different things, LGBTism, they kind of, they've started to connect a little bit more. And what I've realized is I look at a post, and white feminists are getting a lot of heat. There's this growing conspiracy that most feminists are college-educated liberal women, and who is this guy? Let me, I've screenshotted, I've done my homework, guys. Right? Not I've done my homework properly, but... Who cares? James Bliss has called out white feminists in favor of feminists of other races. And in looking at this, it's kind of made me feel astonished by how when you are a leftist, when you choose this side, you have no real friends. You don't. There's no one you can trust. They'll support you, but when they think that you're a threat and you're being too privileged, they'll turn their back on you. They'll fucking make you out to be the monster. So go ahead and be enemies with someone who you shouldn't trust. I'd rather deck a nigga I can't trust than befriend somebody that I can't trust. It's not worth it. Trustworthy people should be treated like people that ask for money, panhandlers. You don't give money to panhandlers unless I don't know. But there's still going to be the people that do it give money out because they're nice people but it really is hurting you in the end because a lot of these guys aren't nice anyway moving on to further subjects there's also the issue of abortion how a lot of females say well it's my body it's going to be my pregnancy. If I don't want it, then I should have the abortion. Problem is, now cisgender people are getting heat. Because what if you're not a female? What if you're transsexual? Or you have a different gender identity? And you somehow have a baby like that man that got pregnant many moons ago. Not even many moons ago. Many fucking... Years ago. I think that was in the Bush days. And he got pregnant. What if... It should also be his right, right? So, if you're just making it a female thing, then, you know, fuck you. You're as much of a problem as the conservatives, right? When you think about it, it's all interconnected. Everyone is being identified as a hypocrite. Hypocrisy and... The internal inconsistencies of leftism, it, the Malcolm effect, it's basically on crack right now. It's moving at a really fast pace. If I were to be, let's say, 
a vegan, but I make vegans exclusively a Hispanic thing or a Hindu thing. Well, it makes sense if you have a religion that specifically follows standards. That's a different story, but if you're, let's say, that and you're kind of excluding it from black people, that'd be kind of a problem, right? That'd be really fucked up. Uh, same kind of situation. Have one lefty thing. And more of something in terms of identity politics, not really a religious standard. If you have something like that, then it really bites you in the ass because... They're going to see, they're going to find privilege somewhere in your behavior. They're going to find it. and It's better to drop all these anti-privilege ideas because there's going to be something messed up. And if you discipline yourself out of it, then what are you really doing? How deep can you possibly go and expect good results? This isn't making you into a stronger person. This is kind of making you into someone you're not going to recognize in the mirror a few years ahead. And not for good reasons. And you don't want to look at yourself in the mirror and think, Dude, what the fuck have I become? Because you're going to be depressed because of that. So if you're going to discipline yourself to do something, do something productive. That's all I got to say. If you're going to go that route, go that route for something good. Don't just become a feminist and then, okay, it's feminism for everyone. I'm sorry that I'm white and didn't have enough white guilt in me. I didn't understand how bad I was privileged even though maybe I didn't have such a perfect life don't go that direction it's not good it's Mr. Ronka 7 and suck my dick